cheap wit, so you know about cobbling together differing interests. Can this be done? Let's hope so. And Damien Green, you're a former first secretary of state. You know all of this intimately. How's the deal making going? Uh, the deal making is is going positively. Uh, the prime minister is talking to and listening to people across uh, parties, maybe, you know, people like us, but also to people in other parties. And that's what has to happen. We, we need to find a position that Parliament can support. And, and talks like this are an extremely useful way forward of doing that. Now, isn't the reality that the Prime Minister simply cannot get a deal through unless she has the Labour Party on board? Well, well let's see. I mean, what, what we've seen over the past 24 hours is the Labour Party being, or the Labour Party leadership specifically, being as unhelpful uh, and, and frankly uh, you know, not looking at the national interest as is possible to be. I mean, Jeremy Corbyn uh, yeah, has agreed in the past to talk to all sorts of completely unsavoury people claiming piously that that's the way forward. I think he, he's behaving uh, in a way that's, that's unnecessarily partisan at a point where uh, many people in all parties are looking much more hard at the national interest than at their own party. But Jeremy Corbyn is saying take no deal off the table and you both agree with that. Well, I, I want there to be a deal. I voted for a deal. Um, but, but Jeremy Corbyn should, should have conversation with the Prime Minister. It seems to be completely absurd at a time like this for the leader of the opposition to say, I'm not going to talk to the Prime Minister. Um, and particularly when you know, Labour has been complaining uh, that uh, the, the government shouldn't put down many preconditions. Their first response to talk is to say, we want preconditions. That's a ridiculous way of behaving. I think, I think, I think we will make progress. And now is the time for Parliament to assert itself. There's lots of different opinions in Parliament. No two members of Parliament think precisely the same way, but now we've got to make progress in the national interest, and the, it's the right thing for the Prime Minister to do, to corral people together uh, and make Parliament focus on what the answer to all of this is, what we agree about, and not what we disagree about. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.